So ito na nga po mga kaibigan, uh, nasampahan na po ng kaso lahat po ng involved dito sa conspiracy para patayin si Percy Lapid. At uh, dalawa po sa mga malalaking pangalan ay uh, ito pong si dating Director General Bantag. Ito pong uh, suspended na hepe ng Bureau of Corrections at itong kanyang kanang kamay na si Superintendent Sulweta. At uh, napag-alaman natin, uh, base rin po dito sa question and answer na ito pong si Superintendent Sulweta ay nagtatago na po. At uh, dito rin sa question and answer ay uh, mauungkat itong uh, malaking uh, sindikato na nabuo dyan po sa loob ng Bilibid. At uh, malalaman natin kung paano nasabi ni Secretary Boeing Rimulya na meron talagang sindikato na nabuo dyan sa pambansang pitan. At pinag-usapan din dito yung mga inmate na sinasabi nga namatay dahil sa COVID kasi sila po yung nagtataka. Bakit ang dami po na mga nakitang mga bangkay doon po sa funeral services na kung saan accredited po ng Bureau of Corrections. At uh, questionable po itong mga bangkay na ito. Uh, ito ay uh, itunuturo din bilang kagagawan ng malaking sindikato na nabuo dyan po sa Bilibid. Dito rin malalaman natin kung meron na bang hold departure order o kahit lookout order dito kay DJ Bantag. Kasi di ba sabi nga po ni DJ Bantag ay hindi po siya magpapahuli ng buhay. Mas gugustuhin niya nga mamatay o makipagpatayan dito sa gobyerno kaysa siya ay makulong dyan po sa Bilibid. So yan po yung mga katanungan na sasagutin po ng ating mga otoridad. Hi, good morning. Nico Bawa from ABS-CBN News. I'd like to know if there was a clear leak um, from Bantag to the commanders about the order to kill uh, Lapid and uh, Villamor. Um, I understand that some of them simply alluded to or implied that he was the mastermind. But other than those testimonies, are there other things that could, or pieces of evidence that could link to Bantag and Zubaita? Secretary Mulia would like to answer your question, sir. The principle that we adopted here in charging uh, the mastermind is the, is the totality of all the facts given to us by all the witnesses and all the circumstances attendant to the killing. So it's a totality test. It is not for us to point out a direct link, but the totality of all the acts points out to the participation of and responsibility of those charged. Uh, may follow-up question then. Normally, when the police and the NBI conduct an investigation, they subpoena everyone who are involved, especially the masterminds. In this particular case, um, were, was there a chance for them to be heard or given their side to explain? Or was there a subpoena issued for these two masterminds? No subpoena was issued. That will come because the case was filed already. That will be with the fiscal because they have the rights to counsel and they may answer there. Pero ba't hindi sila binigyan ng pagkakataon? Hindi naman kailangan eh, kasi pinag-aralan niya ng gusto, tinanong lahat ng testigo. And you know, this is an exceptional case. All of these, uh, none of these people would have talked if General Bantag remained as the head of the Bucor. The fear of General Bantag is just tremendous and unbelievable from the eyes of these PDLs. So that... Uh, it, we chose it, we, 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 uh, maybe that uh, we can say that we thought it best in, the, in conducting the investigation that we let General Bantag answer his charges formally with the Fiscal's office. Next person, at the back. Microphone, please. Lasa Daphne, sir. John Consulta from GNA7. Bert, would you just like to clarify, we already established earlier on uh, the two principles would be General Bantag and uh, Zulueta. Uh, can you please tell us how are they related or how can we establish their closeness? And we also learned that in the affidavits issued by uh, the prisoners, they said that they had direct contact with Zulueta. Uh, what will be our proof aside from the affidavits they have issued, sir? I think that it will be in the, all the affidavits that are there. There are affidavits for more than 10 people pointing to it. My follow-up question, sir. Now that uh, we have identified General Bantag and Zulueta as uh, principals of this case, will you be uh, leaning in uh, uh, issuing a whole the partial order? Against they, they will be issued uh, now. They will be issued subpoenas at their last known addresses because we understand that the Zulueta has been in hiding already. Uh, he skipped the uh, town 
uh, four or five days ago. And the General Bantag, we expect to give it to him at, uh, at the Bucor and his last known address in Caloocan City. Possible hold departure order, sir. Hold Pardon? departure. Hold departure order, po. HDO. Well, we, it's, a, it's what you call a lookout order. If somebody wants to, to leave the country, we, it's, it's a lookout order that we issue. And uh, I think that's the way that we the, the law is uh, enforced in our country. Next person. Thank you. Thank you. To the left. Uh, Cecil Morales, sir, of the French News Agency. We're trained, uh, Mr. Bantag's group, as a, a criminal organization. C could you tell us what other uh, crimes did they commit? And I'm particularly interested in whether they had any role in the killing of the PDLs who testified against uh, former Senator De Lima. Well, uh, I, I will not go to the case of Senator De Lima here. Uh, with the criminal organization, I would say that the beer, the beer that was found, that was surrendered by the, by the people, the drugs, the computers, the telephones, um, the weapons, uh, in, in, inside, uh, inside Bilibid, uh, is a very, very strong indication of a, the presence of a criminal organization. Uh, with a centralized purchasing system, a centralized way of doing contraband selling and contraband work within a prison system. I think that that itself would tell you that there is a criminal organization lurking within. My fellow officer, uh, how long has this criminal organization existed and how many people have been killed by this group? That's what we are accounting for now. In fact, uh, one, of the, one of the things that surprised the investigators in this case was the fact that when they went to Eastern Funeral Homes for the autopsy, the first autopsy conducted by the NBI, they were surprised to see more than 30 corpses inside the funeral home. This is now being studied by the police. And uh, we want to know how all of these people died, the cause of death, and the, 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 the circumstances surrounding their death. But the, the presence of the criminal organization, we cannot tell now. We will study it, and we, maybe we can know uh, how long this has been going on. But definitely, there has been criminal activity going on inside the National Believed Prison. Next, at the back. Good morning, everybody. My name is Nancy Carvajal with Politico.ph. And uh, my question is whoever can, like, um, would like to answer. Uh, with all due respect to the investigators, the NBI and the police, sir, um, yung kasing um, affidavits and the statements of the PDLs, um, some uh, are saying that it's with yung very coherent and in fact um, iisa yung tono na pinupuntahan and they and also apart from the statements although Nico had like asked this earlier what else do you have that could really like link but Colonel Banta and uh, May Zulueta is like fine because he was really named and there are there were many instances that he really talked to them but Merong cut, sir. Eh? There, there was a layer of General Bantag. And you said um, of the statements, talagang siya lang. Ang, no one can order it. So, um, if no one can order apart from Bantag, sino pa yung, would you say na meron pa bang sa taas? O ni Bantag? Kasi marami rin namang, remember, merong 160 people na they feel slighted of Percy Lapid. Um, and uh, broadcasts. Tapos, the second question would be um, the allegations of graft and corruption of of um, um, of Bantag, sir. Um, nasama ba yun sa investigation as motive ng pagpatay? Um, well, I only have one answer to what you said. No? It's the totality of all the of all the statements. I think that we have to stick to that. Because it is the truth. It is the totality of everything. Apart, sorry, sir. Medyo makulit na talaga ako. Yung apart from the totality. Yeah, we, we, we heard that. You know, yung statement. And I'm going to repeat it again. It's the totality. Just just that. Totality, yes. Uh, just yes, that. Yes, yes. Uh, no, no, no other physical evidence na 
Just well, we will, we will, we will uh, there are still things that we have to ask. Uh, we're 95% closed, okay. but there's 5% that we want to find out okay. about this. Thank you so much. Next. And congratulations. Yes, Jairo. Hi, good morning. Jairo Boledo from Rappler. I only have one question because natanong na po yung sa higher up. Um, General Bentag already said na hindi siya magpapakulong. Mayroon pa siyang non-verbatim po na word na parang magkamatayan na lang daw po ng gobyerno ito. Ano po yung mga measures na gagawin natin aside from the HTO para ma-ensure natin na magiging accountable si Director General Bentag for this crime, alleged crime? Thank you. We will furnish him documents that he can defend himself uh, with uh, so that he can be informed of all the charges against him and all the testimonies against him so he can answer intelligibly. We will give him due process. He will have the right to counsel, as all people are entitled to the right to counsel. Besides that, all of these words are not within our grasp. Kami ho rito, law enforcement po ang iniisip namin. Hindi ho kami nag-iisip ng iba. Pinapatupad lang po namin ang batas. Wala ho kami ibang motibo rito. Kung ano pong mangyari na sa proseso, alam naman natin, may proseso po ito. May karapatan ng isa para sa puti, ng bintang sa kanya. Kung ano ang maging desisyon, kailangan ispapatupad po namin ito. At andyan po ang NBI PNP para ipatupad ang magiging desisyon po dito sa kaso. Hello mga nanonood dyan. Mag-subscribe po kayo sa Batang Maynila Toys. Ay, maligyan ang pag-aaral.